So, hey, do you know that self-driving cars kind of suck? Kind of a bummer. <laughs> Listen, all you really need is for a human to be sitting behind the wheel. Not because the self-driving car can't self-drive, but that way if it hits someone, you can hold the human personally accountable for it in, like, legal, like, proceedings. <laughs> That's ironically what this is right now, and it's kind of horrifying. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's like this is the first instance of a self-driving car in this entire series and it immediately goes off-road into oncoming traffic and nearly causes an accident. It does cause an accident, just not for the car. <laughs> yeah, it causes an accident for someone else. Yeah, because this is like a weird digital car and it can go through things inexplicably, including oh, the non-digital things inside of it. <laughs> I, I feel like I've already run through all my <laughs> self-driving car jokes for the day. <laughs> 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 so yeah, this episode, uh, Lilithmon and freaking Cerberusmon are just driving around in a demon taxi, just like picking people up, just so they can like, just send them to like, no, we're picking people up so that they can, like, show them where angels are for the sake of, like, you know, hunting them. You know, yeah, because the real world totally has angels to hunt. Yeah, now that I think about it, uh, they specifically pick up a nun, a priest, and uh, Kotaro, who mentions angels. Yeah, just just keyword select anyone who brings up angels or works with, like, religion, and just be like, okay, where are they? Let's get them. <laughs> where are the angels? I want to kill them. <laughs> like, they, they're they ready to go, you know, like, Lilithmon's got her spike to bat, we got this. Let's mess them <laughs> up. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, oh, um, this is kind of the christmas episode i guess it is um, it and they have like a christmas play that's the that's the reason the angels are brought up in the first place <laughs> oh my god I, I think you're right oh jeez it's it's a christmas episode that has very little to do with christmas <laughs> is this baby jesus an angel where'd he go you have to show me where he is <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah uh Kotaro and Hiro who I assume was roped into going to see uh the like this all girls school Christmas play I probably so he didn't look weird <laughs> um I was, before I could I was just like all I'm thinking is that it's like you know <laughs> <laughs> like baby Jesus is in the manger with like the animals and stuff and you know everyone's like saying their thing there's the wise man stuff and like you know you hear like a taxi so just stop outside <laughs> and just talk and they're like oh hey more guests who could that be that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a messed up Christmas episode <laughs> Sorry, sorry, continue. I didn't mean to like. It's all good. I mean, that's... <clears throat> like I said, Kotaro wanted to go see an all-girls school Christmas play or something. And he probably just roped Hero in on it so he, he wouldn't look weird going alone. Yeah. He just like, oh yeah, we got cookies. And like, those girls were angels or whatever. And he said the thing. And then uh, Lilith Vine's crazy taxi picks up Kotaro. <laughs> Yeah, uh, who is who is watching a sleeping Gammon because Hero had to go back to get his phone. Can we just take a second to acknowledge the the hologram excuse has never been dumber? Because oh, Hero's yeah. like, oh hey, here, hold my like freaking hologram that's made of light that you can just feel and hold that has like math to it, as it you like could... literally sleeps. Yeah, whose heartbeat you could feel and whose breathing you could hear. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, you know, he has to know at this point. He does not know at this point. Yes. How the heck even? 
I I think he begins to question it at least. Yeah. I know there's a point the, later in this episode where he's like, wait, Hero's hologram is in danger? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, he's like, it's just a hologram, but he's kind of looking at him a little worried, like a little bit. And it's like, I don't know. I think he I think he's kind of like understanding a little bit what's happening, but it's yeah. so weird to him. I don't know. It's so it's so weird that the immediate thought isn't just like, oh, wait, what? All right, I guess this is a living thing then. Yeah, it's like, okay, no, this is a weird little winged triceratops creature. Hasn't this guy literally dealt with Digimon before? Like, specifically, this specific I, guy? I think this is the same guy who dealt with the May Crackmon and the... No, it's not the Antilomon. It's um Was it him who dealt with the May Crackmon? I, I think it is. I think he's the one that dealt with like May Crackmon and Telemon and also maybe no, like the plant thing, the uh whatever it was called. I th was uh, that him? I don't know. It, it was one of them. A Jattermon is a random other kid. Who no, not the Jattermon. Shop. Like the other plant one that eats like stinky things. What's its name? Vegemon? Wait. Veg what? No, the, the one no. that, like, made him shave his balls. And we made jokes about Manscaped. What? <laughs> don't, don't you remember that episode where it was like, there's a plant that makes you, like, you know, not wash yourself because it likes eating stinky oh, things? Oh, right, 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 that one. Got it. <laughs> Man, that was freaking weird. That was a. I can't believe you forgot about the freaking manscaped bit. Right. I don't know, man. Oh man, that's such a weird episode. The, I think we had like two flash episodes back to back too. That was like the weirdest part. I think. I think the make crack mon episode is a different kid because it's the same guy who was. Uh, because it's the same guy who worked with the Antilomon. And that was the guy who was getting stuff for people. That wasn't Kotaro. Because Kotaro got Kotaro got stuff from that guy, that guy. Whatever happened to the fun team of weirdos <laughs> that Ruri took underground to find Grottomon? Everyone else is so hard to tell apart. They're literally never going to show up again, like I said. <laughs> Just totally cr like them and like what's her face, blonde girl, have the most unique designs of A1 the entire series, and they're just gone forever. It's like yeah. frustrating the crap out of me. It's so weird. Which one of these random brown haired kids are the ones that we've interacted with before? I Which don't know. Which of these random brown haired boys that have short hair that look identical and wear the same uniform are the ones we're supposed to care about? At least, at least in Kotaro's case, we're supposed to care a little bit about him because he's Hero's friend. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, uh, he gets picked up by uh, the succubus taxi, and it's like, take us to the angels. It's like, uh, but I don't know how to drive. And they're like, okay, it's fine. Just sit in the seat. It'll drive on its own. <laughs> Listen, the only way he could have saved himself <clears throat> is if he drove to the outfield. But I'm Tish. <laughs> <laughs> T took me a second. <laughs> uh, it's dumb. Oh, man. It's, <clears throat> I don't care. That was a good one. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So he just puts so a location, yeah. and they're, like, going. And Lothmon specifically poisons both him and Gammon with presumably a very mild dose of poison, considering what this form is, what this Digimon is. Yeah, I, they say it's a curse. Yeah, specifically so, a like, curse. Yeah, she curses them, and it's like, this is what drains people's energy. Why she's doing it, I don't know like so that's the uh, that's the thing i don't understand i don't know i guess they're draining their life force as a threat but it's like oh, okay how does how does killing people but they don't die everybody lives apparently um 
but it's like, how is trying to kill people uh, helping you? <laughs> well, because now they can't just take you around in circles and screw with you. Now they have to do the thing, or it's like you die, right? I guess. I don't know. It's just... Their motives are weird. They're just asking random people. Like, yes, they're priests and nuns, but it's like, oh yeah, take us to angels, regular person. <laughs> Yeah, Tanaka Quell, Lethal Loath Mom was. The only other show she's been was X Ross Wars, and she was a joke in that show. Wait, what? Oh, that's so lame. Mostly Conquer Leaf, which fell off. Yeah, Loath of Mom's, like, so cool, though. She should be, like, yo, know, such a cool villain. That's something I appreciate, is, like, okay, now we're just gonna be dealing with Megas, but they jump up immediately to a Demon Lord, and it's like, okay, yeah. They don't yeah. even beat her. Man, if I had a nickel for every time Gamamon went mega form to find an evil female Digimon by, like, literally just breaking one thing they own before they drop a cryptic hint about the one who sent there and fly off into the sunset, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, like, two times in a row. And if we don't count the female part of that uh, descriptor, we could count it as three times, because Dark Nightmon. Yeah, I suppose so, huh? Or he, he doesn't go mega, well, he doesn't, I guess, but like, like, Yeah, he doesn't he, drop he fights, the cryptic, like, yeah. He fights Dark Nightmon, and then he wins because he broke his horn off of his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Be a side note, lots my mind. Uh, yeah, did you have to notice when they're talking about the angel Digimon? <laughs> uh, yeah, you recognize what uh, these silhouettes ones? are? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, there's probably an Angemon in there, there's probably an Angelomon in there. No. So the one on the left is Pedomon, or Angemon seemingly, it's hard to tell which one. Probably Angemon, actually. The one mm. in the back is Darkmon, and who's that to the right? Uh, I don't know, is it Lucimon? It's just straight up Lucimon. No other angel Digimon has, like, wings on their head like that. It's just straight up them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the fact that Lothamon is, like, actively hunting Lucimon is kind of crazy. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. <laughs> of all the things to reference, <clears throat> yeah... Tim is doing Actros Wars with super horny. All the human like the old Digimon has massive juggle. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I've seen an image or two of Actros Wars, and holy crap, yeah, they go all out. It's nuts yeah. how much fan service that show had. It's also a show aimed for a younger audience. Listen, I think they could have, like, reeled it back for kids. For me, though, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> In Japan, they don't really... I mean, yeah, I'm sure certain things are aimed at really small children, but I don't think... From what I understand, they don't focus so much on, like, yeah, this animated thing is for really small kids, and this is for older kids. It's just like, no, nah, yeah. it's cartoon, it's for everybody. Yeah, because you see Lilith Mon, <laughs> and it's just straight up like, oh, wow, yeah, she got nerfed, huh? Yeah, so I, I was kind of, I was watching the episode, it's like, oh, they're not going to show her till right at the end, because if they show her throughout the episode, the age rating might go up, and then she steps out of the taxi, and it's like, oh, alright. Yeah, although I was, like, going into this, like, podcast, I was like, oh, yeah, I need to make a joke about how she got nerfed, and as soon as we're, like, setting things up, Lucky's like, oh, yeah, Lilithmon sure got nerfed, huh? And I'm like, oh, heck yeah. Yeah. I will say, though, she looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, like, I you love know. how she looks. Yeah, I wish she had, like, a bit more. I feel like they could have given her a bit more, you know? But other than that, she does look, like, great in this episode. Like, the animation, like, you know, like, art style and stuff stays, like, on point. It's really good. Yeah. And I was kind of surprised uh, when she starts going hand-to-hand -hand with, uh, <laughs> with uh, what's a serious mind. Like... And like yeah. up until now, she had been like breathing like curses on people and like stabbing them with her nails. 
But then she just starts going hand to hand with Sirius Mon, and it's like, oh, this is rad. Yeah. Like, they do a whole cool thing where she, like, stabs him in the stomach, and he, like, keeps her arm in so he can, like, hit her once, and he doesn't even do anything. Like, he just kind of, like, cuts a bit of her, like, comb on her head, which I never actually rise to as a comb before. But after playing Persona 4, this makes way too much sense. Yeah. Um... Uh, so before she steps out of the taxi, there are some things I like, and it's um, Gamamod has been cursed, but he starts breaking out with like black spots, and it's like, oh, that's not part of the curse. That's Gulu's Gamamod trying to keep him safe. Yeah, and like, and like Gamamod finally ends up looking in the back seat and facing Lilithmod directly, and like he closes his eyes and opens them, and they turn like pitch black, like Gulu Scamma Mons. Like he's giving her the death stare before he like closes them again and grabs Kotaro and gets him out. I don't know if that's meant to imply that they knew each other before or not. Like it's no, kind of, I, I, yeah. I think it was Gulu Scamma Mons just going like, "You better, <laughs> you better stop this crap, or I'm going to kill you." It might have been, but ah, the way that shot was framed, it it gave me the impression of Gulu Skimon being like, oh, I know what this thing is, it's gonna die. And Lilithmon's like, oh, I see, you know? Like, yeah. it felt like that type of moment. At the very least, Lilithmon recognizes it for what it is, and it's like, okay, well, uh, so she's like, okay, well, hey, join me and we can hunt down the angels. If you're on my side, nothing can stop us. And Sirius Mon is understandably like, no, there's no way I'd ever join you. And Lilith Mon is like, well, you might not, but the other one might. <laughs> Man, if you get text, Ross Wars, we ing during the Mervamon parts. Also, yeah, it looks great, like actual threat. Uh, Goose was pissed. Marvel get all the Dune Lords before the show is done. Listen, if there's gonna be a hundred episodes, we bargain all of them. <laughs> <laughs> this it's showing was really good for the first one. <laughs> yeah. Also, we learn. So, hmm. so opening a, di a gate to the digital world apparently isn't only as something uh, Black Godomon can do, who we haven't seen in several episodes. Yeah. Um, I guess it makes sense, but if you're a strong enough mega level, you can also just open a gate at will. <laughs> Man, I. <laughs> This goofy thing just wants on my mind. Uh, yeah, for a while I thought like Mervamon was a thing, and I'm like, eh, no, why is Leo, why does Mervamon show up in so many games and stuff? Yeah, I don't really care how much about this design, yo. Eh, it's, Mervamon seems kind of mid. And then I saw the x Wars design, and I'm like, oh. Okay, yeah, I get it now, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, the art in the card game for that character is just fantastic. <laughs> just, I approve. <laughs> so much jiggle. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, freaking, like... Uh, yeah, Serious Mom fights Mervamon. Right, first, like, yeah, Cerberus Mon gets his moment to, like, do a thing and then get owned in two seconds. To and, be fair, they, yeah. te they team up on him. Yeah. Oh, also, Gendry Mon shows up and does something. First, he acts as a taxi to get the heroes there, and then he acts as a taxi to bring Bakuman there. <laughs> In Ryuman, continuing to do what Erdramon does. <laughs> if nothing oh. else, at least this time, yo, it seemed like Erdramon was carrying a lot of people, so I guess, hey, we just needed a second taxi this one time. Yeah, I do love this one bit that happens, though. I'm I'm glad I thought to bring up Erdramon and Gin Ryuman. Uh, a cop comes up to the kids and is like, hey, what are you doing out so late? Whatever. And then he gets like a an announcement on his like on his police radio. It's like, oh yeah, there was a we saw the black taxi headed north or whatever. And then like Erdramon and Gendrimon are back behind some trees, and Erdramon just calls out dramatically. It's like, oh no, I need help or whatever. And like the cop runs back to check on him, <laughs> and Gendrimon is just like, let's get out of here. 
Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good moment. <laughs> I like this episode. This episode is fun. Yeah, this, this is a fun episode. I like... I'm gonna be real again. I feel like this could have been split into two parts. I think you could have had the Cerberus Mon thing be one thing and, like, led into the Lilith Mon thing in the next episode. And it would have worked really well. I... I you could I have, like, really, add stuff to this to, like, make this more of a thing. I really don't care about Cerberus Mon in this episode at all. He's just the underling of Lilith Mon. Yeah, it's because he, like, has a fight scene, and he just sort of turns werewolf mode and gets owned, like, immediately. It's because he, like, they gave him so little time to have his moment. It's so rushed. Oh, man. Yeah. We finally I, I, get I, I... werewolf mode, and it does, like, nothing. <laughs> <coughs> Somebody grabs his tail and swings him Bowser style. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And now we'll never see werewolf mode in anything again. I think it was, was it Thetismon? Like, Thetismon gets in there and, like, grabs him. Yeah, I do appreciate this. Is Thetismon hears that Gamemon's curse, like, freaking Jellymon's like, oh crap, I can't cure curses. Yeah, that's not poison. I can't fix that. We'll need a holy yeah. Digimon. Fortunately, Bakumon is a Digimon with a holy ring. If Ghost Game's a full two year show, they really should have used their time, like, pretty. So many our Digimon shows would have killed for that time. Oh, yeah, they could have done so much with this. They could have done so much with, like, some multi part episodes. Holy crap. Just, like, there's so much potential that it feels like is being left off the table right now. <clears throat> if nothing else, the, like, this is the second episode in a row where they mention whoever's responsible for sending Digimon here. I feel like we're finally leading up to the point where they're going to try and figure out what's up with that. So, so you know how we were joking before about how the person who was sending them here was, like, Hero's dad? After this episode, yeah. I'm convinced it was actually Hero's dad. Like, it's it actually be. just... Because they specifically, like, alright, hear me out. She just says, like, oh, yeah, yo, yeah, the person who sent us here sure is a curious one, yo. I'm sure he sent... No, I think she has straight up says, like, yeah, he sent the rest of you here too or something. And says something along the lines of, like, yeah, his methods are so random and without motive. And it's like, okay, yeah, it's just straight up Hero's dad. Because we know that he sent Gamamon over here for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah but I, I don't know. It, it could also not be his dad. Like, well, I guess we'll see. But I still think it feels like we're leading up to the point where they're going to be questioning that and maybe finally go to the digital world. Like, the big reveal that Lilithmon is a Digimon who could just open a portal at will yeah. like, feels like it's leading to, okay, we need to find a Digimon who can get us there. We're going to get to the point where, like, all three of our, like, main characters Digimon are gonna, like, go mega, and they're just gonna, like, attack the air at the same time and open a portal somehow. Because <laughs> yeah. I, like yeah. I feel like it'll either go to, uh, we need to find Black God Oman, or we need to convince Lilith Mine to let us in. Oh crap, I just realized. What if, like, we get Gulus Gamamon's mega form right? And the first thing he does is he just goes mega and just opens a portal and just sucks everyone in. <laughs> like, Gulus Gamamon's mega is like, oh hey, alright, it looks like I finally escaped now, let's go. And he just opens a portal, leaves, and they have to, like, go on Airdramon to follow him, and it's like a big thing. Yeah, it's like, alright, finally, the digital world arc. Yeah. I think we are close to endgame. I actually think the new mega is in two or three weeks. Yeah, sounds alright, right? Going by the dim card releases. I do think we are getting those goose forms. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
I thought he was gonna go like mega like I thought we were gonna get like ultimate Gulus Gamamon or Mega this episode actually. I thought that's where the curse thing was going. Oh, that would have been interesting. That one really <laughs> but, cool. But it's fine. Uh, we'll get it eventually. Um but Yeah, overall fun episode. Yeah. Also at the future, who knows? Oh yeah, we're absolutely getting that. Because it's oh. like, we've already established Sirius Mon isn't strong enough on his own. We're absolutely doing it. Actually, that's... Uh, so the explanation is that the form is still new to him, so he doesn't have a lot of practice. And uh, like Lilith Mon is like, oh yeah, you haven't had that form for very long, huh? I'm stronger than you because I've been this way for like a long time. And so yeah. that's why she just... She kind of just beats the crap out of Sirius Mon. Honestly, yeah, fair enough. That's like pretty much the same explanation <laughs> Piedmon used way back yeah. in the day. But, um, um, yeah, I feel like we're finally getting somewhere. Yeah, hopefully, we're finally getting somewhere. Ugh. We're finally quickly approaching the reveal that everyone is building up Hero's dad accidentally sending things to the digital world without meaning to and causing all the problems. Yeah. Well, that do... super emotional episode where we like confront Hero's dad and we're like, stop telling Digimon things, you dummy. And he's like, what? <laughs> okay. I do hope. I do hope there is a big bad. I, I like. I hope it's not just his dad. I hope there is like an actual, like antagonistic force sending the Digimon here. The fact that Hero's dad would be the lamest possible like outcome makes me super confident that it's going to be Hero's dad. Yeah. <laughs> Actually enjoy this more in the actual Evo episode. Yeah, like this is a good one. I, I like this. I think, like, yeah. a lot of my frustrations with the Evo episode isn't the episode itself, and it's more, it's like, oh, this is what we're using for the Mega Evolution? Like, this is how we're doing it? Really? All right. I will admit, if having to evolve to Mega to fend off a Demon Lord would have been way more uh, climactic. Oh, yeah. Well, it would have felt way more justified... But it's like, also, yeah, if this was the Evolution episode, that would have been, like, so nothing. If I love the animation, the story's just more stable. Yeah, yeah, there's, like, it's like there's actual stakes. Well, I shouldn't say yeah, there are stakes in the R1, but still, right? Like, it felt yeah. more complete, I think. There's more, like, build-up for the thing. Ah, I'm probably, like, phrasing this really badly, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like people get what I mean. Mm. Also, honestly, we'll enjoy if Hero's dad actually turns out to be the evilest motherfucker. No, it's like, he's not gonna be evil. It's just going to be another big, dumb Digimon misunderstanding. And everyone will just, like, shrug their shoulders and be like, Yeah, that's a Digimon thing to think, I guess. That he's doing this on purpose, a eh? Some evil mastermind? Sure, why not? <laughs> I just wanted for the lols. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. Do we have anything else to really say about this? No, not really. N uh, oh, next man. time on Digimon Ghost Game, uh, Mummy Mon episode from the looks of things. Yeah, I the fact that my mom appears makes me think it's probably gonna be like Lamortmon's Mega or something, or like Thasmon's Mega. Like I, I think uh, next week is probably gonna be another evolution, but watch me be super wrong on this. Yeah. Next episode is I think it's just called Pyramids. Yeah, and, and people I, are yeah. I like the shot in the preview where Mummy Mon just pulls his gun out of his lab coat. <laughs> people are speculating that, you know, next episode probably won't have an evolution because, yeah, Mummy Mon's already big enough. But yeah, people are <laughs> speculating like, oh yeah, it's gonna be Anubis Mon. You know what? I'm gonna throw my hand to the ring? No, this is gonna be Pharaoh Mon. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I'm calling it now. We're getting a Pheromon episode. Because I don't think it's going to be like, you know, freaking like Reapermon. I think it's just going to straight up be like Pheromon. Guessing Ancient Sphinxmon? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, Ancient Sphinxmon would be like really good. That'd be really cool. Yeah, that's... Man, just click. That's why we're getting Mummy Mon on this. Just because it's like an Egyptian-themed episode. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I... That's what I figured when I saw the episode it was called Pyramid. It's like, oh, of course they get Mummy Mon in on this. Of course, yeah. Oh, man. So I guess final thoughts? Good episode. Good episode. I guess I'll see you guys around next time. Yeah. Later.